Aguiar from ESC Automation. I want to go over an outdoor air sensor. An outdoor air sensor is probably one of the most important sensors in a building automation system. It's very important that we get a good, accurate reading of outdoor air temperatures. So I'm going to go over a few installation practices that you have to you have to know uh, not to do. One of the problems with outdoor air sensors is we put it in a building and we usually put a piece of pipe in. We mount the box on the wall and we have our sensor. And sometimes if this pipe if the building is overpressurized, we'll actually get air circulating out of the pipe that affects your outdoor air sensor. So you want to make sure that we silicone the pipe that leads to the outside of the building. We don't want to have any outside air affecting the outdoor temperature sensor. Okay, That's probably one of the most important rules. Another important rule of the outdoor air sensor is that we make sure that we put the sensor on the north side of the building. So you basically have a building uh, we want to have it under an awning, hopefully, and we want to have it high up and under an awning so that it sits in the shade. We don't want any direct sunlight on that unit. It's the worst thing to take a building and put an outdoor air sensor on the outside of a fan system on the roof. You get a lot of radiant heat off the roof that affects the outdoor air sensor, and uh, it, it's a really bad situation. Even if there was some sort of roof thing and it sat in the shade we don't want the sensor on the roof because there's just too much heat radiation coming off of a roof so you want to go on the side of the building we also want to make sure that we're on the north side of the building so if this is the south and this is the north and we got east west we want to put the sensor somewhere on this side of the building um, one of the worst things is that we put it on the south side of the building and obviously it's going to get in the sun a lot more than the north side we want to know what the, the cool side of the outdoor air range is. Um, one of the issues with the outdoor air sensor is also water. If you have a building that does not have an overhang and you put the sensor in, we got to make sure that we use the good box. Make sure the box is well sealed. Uh, make sure that we don't get any water coming into the box. Um, you can also build, get a shade sun cover that goes over the sensor and it protects it from weather and it also protects it from any any sun. So three main things is uh, seal, seal it from going outside, make sure we don't have the sun hitting it directly, uh, try to weatherproof the box by putting it under an awning. And, and, and lastly, I guess the fourth one I, I haven't brought up, if you put it on the side of a building, your sensor, make sure we don't have an exhaust grill coming somewhere close to the sensor. Worst thing is to have exhaust coming out and affecting the sensor. If I had an exhaust grill, I tried to mount the sensor as far away from the exhaust grill as possible. So anything that you can see that is going to affect the outdoor sensor, make sure you mount it away from it as, as much as possible um, and, and get a good dry uh, shaded area for your outdoor sensor. Okay.